All right, peace and blessings to everyone watching this video. This is gonna be about how I almost fell into the new age of angel numbers when I was first coming to my walk with Christ. And uh, I was battling the spirit of confusion. I was battling seducing spirits, which is linked to the new age. And, um, you know, a lot of people will tell me that, you know, angel numbers, oh yeah, you're being guided by your angels. And it sounds really good, especially if you don't know the Bible, you don't know the word of God. Uh, you don't you're not being led by the Spirit of God. So it sounds really really good when people tell you that and then when you look at it Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna read what these numbers say. So it says one 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 says your intentions are manifesting quickly Make sure you're focusing on what actually what you actually want and not what you don't want Okay, two 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 stop worrying everything is working out just as supposed to trust that you are on the right path so when I would be at the gas station um, I would see like two 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 seven 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 uh, or I'm in my car driving, I would see 1111. Uh, on the highways, you know, I would see, you know, 888, like a, like a billboard or like a poster uh, on the streets. Uh, or like, let's say if I was on my phone, I look at my phone, it would just pop up like 1111, to, uh, you know, those type of numbers, right? So I didn't, at first, I didn't really believe in that type of stuff, but there were people telling me, oh, there's nothing new age about it. Like it's, it's, it's um, like you're being led by your angels. <laughs> this is what people told me, man. And like I said, I didn't have the spirit of truth in me. If you don't have the spirit of truth in you guys, which is the Holy Spirit, you're not going to be able to discern what's the truth and what's lies. All right. The devil is a deceiver. The Bible says the devil deceived the entire earth. So many people are led away by his seducing spirits, which is linked to the new age. And the Bible even says in the last days, many people would fall into seducing spirits, doctrines of devils, angel numbers, doctrines of devils. And I almost fell into that. Thank you, God, for pulling me out of that. I didn't get deep into it. And I mean, even if you watch a witch on YouTube, she's always playing with her tarot cards, her angel numbers. So that's how you know it's just demonic. But anyways, so as I was being led to, you know, the angel numbers and stuff like that, I noticed that none of this is like linked to the Bible. Like once I actually started reading the Bible for myself, and that's why I tell people like it's important to read the Bible so you won't be deceived. You won't be deceived by the wolf in sheep clothing. Or you won't be you won't be led away by false doctrines, doctrine of de uh, demons, doctrine of devils. So, I was re I was reading this. I was like, wait, this doesn't align up with what God's word says, you know. And I do know that there are angels and there are fallen angels. And I personally believe, through my knowledge and what I've gained, these are fallen angel numbers. All right, and the fallen angels they they push divination. And there's this movie that I recommend everyone to watch. It's called I think it's called Divination. Um, yeah, it's called Divination. It came out in 2011. And it's one of the most demonic spirits on this earth today. Now, not the most, you know, there's a lot of demonic spirits on the earth, but divinate, the spirit of divination, which is linked to witchcraft, is very seducing and it's very hard to come out of. You know, so thankfully, thank the most I got that I was able, I wasn't too deep in astrology and horoscopes. And I'm gonna go over a scripture. This is in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10 to 12, because there was a time where I didn't think horoscopes were bad, astrology was bad. I didn't know God's word. I didn't know what, how God felt towards that. And it wasn't until I read the book of Enoch and it talked about how the fallen angels taught uh, men that the astrology and stuff like that. So this is, uh, there should not be found among you anyone that make his son or daughter to pass through the fire or that use divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a ne uh, necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God do drive them out before thee. So it says, that should not make one of, of a absorber of times, which is horoscopes. Uh, horoscopes tell you what, how your days are going to be, how your month is going to go, what, what's going to happen for the year, your love life. It tells you what the future. So the Bible says that's an abomination towards them. And once I saw this verse, I was like, okay, like, I got to go, bro. Like, on this narrow path, you have to pretty much live to please God. Like, if God says it's an abomination, abomination means he hates. So if God hates that and you're practicing that, he's going to be mad at you, you know? And how can I be used as a vessel of God if I'm doing what he hates? You know, uh, well, well another, uh, another abomination is like eating, like, pork, shrimp, lobster, crab, the unclean foods. Like, how could I try to live to please God and be fully served to him if I'm over here doing what he hates, you know? So... I instantly gave up the uh, the horoscopes, the astrology, uh, and that was easy to give up, you know. And I did notice I did get attacked, you know. Whenever you give up something that's demonic, uh, especially if it's an abomination to God, you will get attacked. Like let's say if you give up pork, your family members are gonna try to offer you pepperoni pizza. Let's say if you give up the astrology, you might have a demonic dream, a demonic attack. 
or a witch might manifest herself in the physical realm towards you or the spiritual realm in your dream realm and just try to lead you astray to try and deceive you. And that's exactly what happened with the angel numbers. The minute I, I gave that up, and now I still use numbers. I'm going to explain it a little bit. I'm going to explain the numbers, how I look at it now. But uh, when I gave the angel numbers, there was a witch who came my way. And, you know, witches, this, this world is so deceiving. They come disguised as everything you ever wanted. They're very, very beautiful. Not all of them, but some of them are, you know, come disguised as very, very beautiful. And, you know, they, she, was, she was telling me, like, oh, no, this like, I didn't really know the word of God at the time. So I didn't know the truth. You know, I just was just being, and the woman, we suffered not a woman to teach. So, like, you know, why am I being t taught by a woman? But she was like, oh, no, like, there's nothing wrong with angel numbers. You're being guided by your angels. You're very spiritual and continue staying on the path. Uh, you know, just tickling in my ears, you know, giving the, throwing those seducing spirits towards me. And um, I was never deep in the new age stuff. Like, like the only thing I was really deep in was horoscopes and astrology and like learning about other people's signs. And one thing about how that's demonic too, because I would use it for bad too, unintentionally, because let's say I, w I was in a relationship. Let's say that person was like a Gemini. I would go on the app and I'll look at the how, how Gemini's personality traits are. And I'll kind of like... I'll use it for my advantage, which is a form of manipulation. Manipulation is a form of witchcraft. So it kind of, you know, it's all that manipulation stuff is all just demonic. And how I use numbers now, like let's say if I see 316, I think of John chapter 316. If I see 2214, I, I think of uh, many are called, few are chosen. So when I see number signs and stuff like that, and I read the Bible, you know, I, I, I correlate it to the Bible. Like let's say if I see, let's say the time is 714, um, that's the verse I talk that talks about the narrow path. You know, only few find the narrow path. Uh, another verse is I like. Um, Y'all see where I'm trying to go out though. Pretty much like whenever I see like a time now, I, or like one four four. I remember that elevation verse. You know, the book of Revelations where it talks about the Israelites are this would be 144 uh, chosen or elect elect that God's going to choose in the end times. So. Now how I look at numbers now, I just look at, oh, that's the Bible verse, you know, three, six, John 3, 16, Matthew chapter 7, verse 14. There's other verses too, I just can't think of the top of my head. Um, what other verses do I like? Uh, for some in Proverbs, uh, you know, get wisdom, get understanding. But y'all see where I'm trying to get at. So now I look at numbers in a biblical way. Okay, that verse says that, you know, because I was following these numbers, right? I thought I was being, I, okay, maybe God's communicating me, uh, talking to me through these angel numbers, you know, like, let's, let's read more of these numbers, right? And this is how you know it's just demonic, because angel numbers has 666, which we know that's the number of a beast, the number of the Antichrist. All right, so it says 666, your thoughts need some refocusing. This is a reminder that you are a spiritual being, that having a human experience, reconnect with your spirituality. <laughs> like, what the hell, bro? What? What? You know, like reconnect with your spirituality. Like what the heck, man? And like, so this had me believing this is the God leading me. But nowhere in the Bible, nowhere in the scriptures does it say that 666, your thoughts need some refocusing, uh, reconnect with your spirituality. But the Bible does say 666 is a number of the beast, a number of the image of a uh, man, which is the Antichrist. Okay, so this is Antichrist. This is demonic, bro. Okay, so 888, lots of money, honey. Financial abundance is on the way to you right now. You are aligned with your with the money you desire. So this could lead people astray to having the love of money. Not saying that you will have that, but if you people see the sign, they're gonna be led by angel numbers. They're gonna think, okay, you know, like, and if they don't get it, they might do things that God might not want them to do, which is through sin. And you know, it's not a blessing if you had to sin to get it. And you might, you know, now you might do OnlyFans. Now you might do, you know, uh, sell drugs or whatever the case may be. Things that God does not want his children to be doing, you know. So it says 777, luck is based on your side, babe. <laughs> you are on the ultimate spiritual path. Keep doing what you're doing, you know. So how to know you're on the spiritual path? Are you still walking in truth? Are you still walking with the Holy Spirit? Are you still on the narrow path? Are you still being a follower of Christ, submitting to his word? doing the will of God. That's how you know you're on the right path of spirituality, connecting with spirituality. You don't need to see this angel sign to know that, you know? 444, you are completely surrounded by angels. You're being guided through whatever you're focusing on. Well, the Bible says that if you fear the most high God, angels will camp around about you. So if you fear God, you already have angels, you already had the protection. You don't need to see 444. You know, I believe that's in Psalm chapter 34, verse seven, you know, uh, where it says that if you fear the most high God, angels will camp around about you. Nowhere in the Bible does it say, 
the 444, you know, you're going to be surrounded by angels and you're being guided. So it's just confusion. You know, this is how people get confused. And it, and it leads people away from God because now they're being led by angel numbers. They're not being led by the word of God. They're not being led by the spirit of God. They're being led by angel numbers. 555, huge changes are ahead. Trust that transition is your highest good. Prepare for massive shifts. Things are getting exciting. So it's like tickling ears, you know. What about... Uh, seeing an angel number, right? And it says, you have to repent from your sins. Keep the commandments of the most high God. It will never, it will never say that. You know, it will never say that. But it's just tickling ears, you know, seducing spirits, all right? And this is what a lot of people are falling for. And I want to go over that scripture too. This is in um, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. It says, now the spirits speak expressly that in latter times, some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrine of devils, speaking lies and, and hypocrisy, having their conscience smeared with a hot iron. Okay, so a lot of people talk about consciousness, consciousness, right? But in these last days, people are being, their conscience is being smeared with a hot iron by these uh, doctrine of devils and these seducing spirits. So it says that people will depart from the faith, the faith being the faith in God, the faith in Christ. They'll depart from that and they'll give heed to seducing spirits, tarot cards, astrology, uh, angel numbers, um, sage, crystals, you know, all that, all that new age stuff that are going to be, they're going to be given over to that. They're going to depart from the faith in Christ, give up Christ. I, they don't need him no more. They'll go, they'll go into, you know, wearing their crystals to protect them, their angel numbers to guide them. It's everything to lead people astray from God. That's what the new age is to lead people astray from God, you know, and to have them rely on themselves to be their own God, you know, and that's why, you know, I say it could be demonic and, uh, you know, I'm glad I didn't get too deep in the angel numbers because I did notice I was battling the spirit of confusion. And on top of that, the enemy was using people to come my way to tell me, oh, no, you could do that. It's good. But God's word doesn't say if God, if God wanted us to look at angel numbers, it would be in the Bible. He would tell us, yeah, look at your angel numbers. Look at your horoscopes. But the Bible says that it's an abomination, you know. So I didn't know the Bible at the time. This is why I tell people you have to, you know, read your Bible, man. You have to read your Bible so you won't be led away by these seducing spirits and the new age stuff. And I'm spiritual. You know, I'm, I, 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 that's what I call myself. I'm spiritual. The Bible talks about the spiritual man judges all things. I'm spiritual. I'm be led by, I, I love spirituality, but my spirituality, my spiritual walk is led with Christ, is led with the Holy Bible and the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit. That's how I'm spiritual. I'm not spiritual because I play with crystals. I play with tarot cards or I light Palo Sun, Palo, whatever sage they be burning out. I, I don't do that. I don't need that because people do that stuff, right? And it's all to lead people away from God. All right, they, they say that they burn sage, right, to to protect themselves from bad energy, evil spirits. But if you want to protect yourself from evil spirits, bad energy, repent of your sins. Don't open any demonic organic portal doors, spiritual doors to, to have them, allowing them in, uh, getting, doing drugs, uh, getting drunk, fornicating, masturbating, watching porn. That opens up uh, doors in the spiritual realm for demons to attack you. So how about you, re you repent from your sins so those uh, demonic spirits don't have access in, into your life? You know, but see, people don't want to hear that. People have itching ears. They don't want to hear that. So they will just go to the easy way out, sage. And honestly, in my opinion, when you're burning sage, to me, you're summoning demons. All right. And there was a, and this is, I don't want to go too deep in this, but I did some research on the people who, on the witches. Like I said, if you watch a witch on YouTube, she's always having sage on there. You know, she doesn't have the Bible. She's not talking about the scriptures. Okay. She's not talking about the Holy Spirit, Christ. She's talking about her, she's being her own God. That's what the new age all is, being your own God. Following your own ways. And that, you know, that's like I said, that can lead people astray. And, um, you know, the tarot cards too, it, it, it teaches people like how your day is, which is also linked to astrology, how your day is going to go. But the Bible says that's an abomination. So I'm not telling people, I mean, if you, if you, after this, after you made this far in this video, you're still going to look at angel numbers. Hey, that's on you. I'm just sharing my testimony on it. And I don't need angel numbers. You know, I need God. I need Jesus. I need the Holy Spirit. And I need the spirit of truth to protect me from these lies, these fallen angels uh, that are that that came on this earth just to lead people astray. And I'm not gonna. And just because I'm spiritual, I don't. I'm not my own god. You know, I need I need a savior, and I know there's someone who created me. I have to be connected with, which is through the Holy Spirit and God. And like I said, if you give up these angel numbers, if you give up astrology, give up horoscopes, you give up your sage and crystals and, and all the witchcraft, right? You're gonna get demonically attacked in the spiritual realm. That's how you know it's not of God. Watch. If you don't believe me, try. Like I told people, when you get on, um, when you stop smoking weed, right, you're gonna get attacked. When you put down the crystals, when you throw it away in the trash, when you throw away the astrology, uh, you give up the angel numbers. All those spirits that you had in you from doing that, they're not gonna attack you. 
So this is a real spiritual battle. It's a spiritual warfare. We have to put on the armor of God all day, every day, every time I leave our house, because there's a war going on for your soul. I love each and one of you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and like the video and comment your thoughts below if you experienced like the, any new age stuff that you were battling with or that you fell into and how God delivered you. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.